Okay, so today we're going to be tackling this render. It's really easy. Uh, let's do it. Okay, so first off, first thing I want you to do is go into your user preferences, type in library, and um, select material, material library. I'm not going to get into texturing, so you can cl click this one, and uh, it, it gives you all these really great uh, professional looking textures so that we don't have to waste time and you can already get some really good ones. So let's do that. Okay, so first step, um, we're going to hit control A and add a icosphere. Definitely not saying that correctly, but you get the idea. Then we're going to take that, we're going to hit tab, we're going to hit W and click subdivide. Now right down here, right by fractal, just bump that up a bunch. Bring it to maybe a right about there. You can play around with it. This is the, you can be a little more creative with it. And um, that's all we need for now. Now we're not done. Don't go out of edit mode just yet. We're gonna, we're gonna stretch a couple of them. So let's take this one, stretch it out. You do whatever you want. Stretch this one. Say I'm gonna stretch this one. Bring it that direction. And then I'll take this one, stretch it out to about here. You do whatever you want. This isn't, um, yeah, be creative with it. Now hit tab to get out of edit mode and you're done with this. Now uh, I'm gonna scale it down, I'm gonna hit S, bring it down. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a camera. So shift A, um, come down to camera. Now you're gonna hit control ALT zero to snap to camera the to snap the camera to view. You're gonna to wanna to remember this because uh, it's really useful rather than try to edit the camera. When I first started, it was really annoying, but control ALT zero snaps it right to your view. Now I'm gonna hit, click on camera, click G, hit the middle mouse, kind of zoom it out a little bit. You do whatever you want. Hit, hit G again, move it around a little bit. Boom, I kind of like that. <sighs> okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some textures. We're going to add two textures to it. I'll show you a little bit um, when we go into the wireframe. So we're going to go into the materials, scroll down here, right here by cycles templates, go to cycles materials. And this is the part where the um, add-on I asked you to click on. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select um, car paint. And then I'm going to make it a really dark kind of maroon color. Actually, I'm just gonna make it a full on gray. And then let's add another, click the plus here, hit new and just leave that. I'm gonna keep it white. You do whatever you want. You could add another material on that. And then to view our materials, come down here and hit material, material view. Okay, so that's it. That's the car paint that we're looking at. Now, let's go over to the modifiers, hit add modifier. And right down here, just scroll down. Sometimes you have to scroll down to see it. Click wireframe. Now we got this thing. Hit zero to go back to my camera view. All right, that's the wireframe. Down here on material offset, click that. And then click replace original. And now we have our, um, got a thing back. Now go into thickness and just thicken that wireframe to whatever you want. I want to keep it around there. And so this is the reason why we added our two materials. So the wireframe is the second material and the whole um, spike thing, that's the first material. And you can play around with that if you want. Okay, we got that. Next, we are gonna add all the little circles and stuff that's gonna go around it. And that's gonna be in our particle system. Hit new particle system. And right here by emitter, click hair. Boom, we got all this stuff. I'm just gonna bring it down really quick so we don't overload our computer. So right about there. Now, right down here, let's go to a new layer. And we're gonna add a UV sphere. Um, go down to smoothing and keep it smooth. And we're going to add an emission texture. So go to your textures, hit new, right here by diffuse, go up here and select emission. And uh, maybe give it strength of 30, just anything rather than just the one, because that'll make it full white and really bright. So it's gonna be in that layer right there. 
I would advise renaming it just so you don't get confused. So I'm gonna call it particle. All right, click on your icosphere, click on your particle system, and right down here, click on object. And then select your particle. Boom, you got them all right there. All right, so go back to the other layer, take the sphere and put it to the left here. Um, now hit shift and click on that layer so that you can see them both at the same time. So now hit, click on the sphere. I mean, sorry, the, the uh, yeah, the sphere, the particle. Hit tab. And then on the red, I think it's the red. No, no, no. hit the blue. Kind of pull them out a little bit. Right about there. And now keep it in edit mode. Hit scale and edit the scale a little bit. Okay, go out of tab. I'm gonna up the number. Go back into your particle system, up the number, right about there. And then we're gonna go back out, click the sphere, hit tab, and sort of whoop, hit the green here. Hit the green arrow, and just sort of push them out. Kinda like that. Go back into your view, and then go out of tab mode. This is just playing it around. We're just editing it. It's kind of how we want. Um, go down into the render area right here on your particle system and go to random size and just sort of shrink them in. It makes it more interesting, pulls them out. And um, I'm gonna pull these particles out one more time. Now we're just playing around. I'm kind of wasting time, but I wanna make it look good for this tutorial. So hit the green arrow, pull them out a little bit more hit zero, I think this is good, I like this. So I'm gonna hit tab to go out of edit mode, and this is what our particles are gonna be. Be careful when you're putting in your particles not to put too many, is be, and that's because when you put on the glow and the streak, um, it'll look too, it'll, it'll be too much clutter. So keep them a bunch, but um, keep it fairly minimal. Don't, don't, don't go crazy with the amount of particles you have. All right. This looks good. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so we have this now. We're gonna add the background. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna control A, add a cube, hit S for scale, scale it up really big, zoom out, um, hit tab for edit mode, hit A so we can deselect all the sides. Down here, click your face select. Click this face hit the red arrow and just drag it out. And then go on this side, do the same thing, hit the red arrow and drag it out till it covers your camera. And, and then go hit tab again to go out of edit mode. Okay. Um, I want the edge of this to go right next to the camera. So your camera's right about there, right there, that's good. Okay, the background's not done yet, it's almost done. We're gonna take, we're gonna go back into edit mode, hit this, this face right here, hit scale, and we're just gonna scale it down to about there. Hit, and then let's go and adjust the uh, composition again. Control ALT zero. I kind of want the lines to kind of go in like that to kind of just squash it. And then I'm gonna rotate my icosphere a little bit. And the way you can rotate it you go into the this little box here in rotation, kind of mess with it so it gets back to where you see it. So the Y looks like is what I need to edit. Y right there. Oh, that's really interesting. The particle kind of move around too. I like that. Now for the cube, select your cube. We're gonna add a texture. That the best texture I found for this, and it's called Cycles Cube Material. Click that. It's really bright. It works really well for this. And then I'm gonna make it um, this vibrant orange. I'm gonna do that. Okay, almost done. Now we have to add our light. And what we're gonna use for lights are planes. We're not gonna use any of the lamps. We're gonna use a plane because that adds really soft, um, makes it really soft lighting. So, Shift A, Mesh, Plane. 
pull it out a little bit, go into the little box and rotate it around. I want it to face up like that and kind of move it that way. That's good. Okay, let's, all right, we need to move it past our camera. So, whoop. Pat, we need to move it past the camera view, right? Whoop. Come back, why can't you move? It's not working right here. There we go. Almost there, almost, almost movable. Just gotta move it back a little bit. Move it back a little bit more. Boom, it's being weird. And then, yeah, that's good. So let's hit, let's go back into our plane. Texture, new texture right here by diffuse, hit emission, and then bump it up by about strength of 30. I think that's good. All right, now let's just check out our piece. Let's go into the rendered view, make sure it's bright enough. It's not very bright at all, actually. Go back into material. Let's hit it. Let's make it about 60 in our strength. Let's check it out again. Go into rendered view. And we're almost there. A little bit more. Let's actually bump it up to 100. This is just playing around. I've, I've, re I've made this tutorial three times and each the size of your plane is gonna be the size of your light and this is the smallest plane I've worked with yet. So it's fine. Let's check it out one more time. This should be it. Yes, that's bright. Okay, go back into the material. We're gonna add one more plane and that's gonna be above it so the light will come down. So shift A, plane, bring it up, scale it, and then the camera view can see it. So we're gonna bring it over like this, a little bit more, right about there. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna add Texture, new, emission, and then 100 on strength. Now let's check that out. Preview it in our render view. Okay, well now it's too bright. <laughs> it's too bright now. Okay, let's bump each of those emissions down to 60, see what happens. This one, 60, this one, 60. Okay, I remember when I was when I was doing this tutorial originally, I had the same problem. Um, these actually, the strength needs to be at around 30 on each of these um, planes. So click them, go to your plane, go in the texture, edit the strength. Okay, that's looking really good. Um, I'm having one problem, and that's the texture on my icosphere. So I'm going to go to car paint, and I'm just going to change it to diffuse, make it uh, dark, dark gray. Because what's the problem is it's reflecting my plane up there, and it's making it flat white. It doesn't look that good. So we're going to use this. Uh, I'm going to make it a little darker. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, so now we have our lights. Um, second to last thing, I believe. Go to your camera. Now we're gonna add our depth of field so that the particles, we can have that kind of nice blur. So, um, hit limits. Kind of come out of your view real quick. And so, no, make sure you click limits. Right here, it says distance. See that little plus? That's gonna show what it's gonna focus on. So kind of put it near the front, but not directly in front. I'll say right about there. And then um, go into your rendered view and kind of click radius, the size that says right under radius until you see your particles kind of going out of focus. Okay, that's looking good. All right, now, one thing we have to change is if you look at your particles when they're out of focus, it's a kind of a crack, crappy, grainy look. So right here on blades, hit 
12, make it 12, and that'll make your bokeh, the out of focus, look nice and sharp and round. Um, there's something you gotta do if you wanna make it look nice. And yeah, that looks good. Let's just check it out, the render view again. Perfect, this is perfect. Okay, go back into your material view. So we're almost done. We got our camera, we got our, all, everything. Now um, it's time to render it. So go into your render settings. I'll show you the render settings right here. It's on resolution 100%. Here you can just change the size. I'm gonna keep it 1920 by 1080 because this is gonna be the YouTube thumbnail. Um, I don't think you have to really change very much. You can maybe change it to 16 color space. I'm gonna keep it on eight um, PNG. Um, yeah, make it keep it on PNG or JPEG. And it looks like you don't have to change anything else. And just hit render. And once you finish rendering it, um, I'm going to show you what to do next. We're almost done, but first you have to render it. We're going to add the glows next. Okay, that took about 12 minutes to render on my GP. So if it takes you a long time, that's normal. Um, okay, so that now we're going to add in the glow and the light streak, which is kind of what makes the render really cool. So what we're going to do, go up to here and click compositing. All right. So right down here, we're gonna click use nodes and backdrop. Okay, now hit control A, hit the search bar and type in viewer, V-I-E, right there. Viewer, take the image node, bring it down to that, right down there, boom. Okay, next down here, hit viewer node and then kind of scroll out until you can see your whole piece. That's gonna let us see an active view of the edits we're doing. Okay, so Here's how we do the glow. Hit control A, search, and type in glare. G-L-A, that's all you really need to type in. Glare, and attach it to this bottom viewer node. And then you wait a second, boom, you get all this. It's pretty cool. But um, when you change it from streaks to fog glow. Give it a second. And that's pretty cool. Let's kind of tweak it a little bit. Um go from medium to high. Give that a second to change and leave that about there. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add another glare node. Um, shift A, search, G, L, glare and attach it right there. And that's gonna add another one on top of that. Boom, all right. Now on this one, Right down here on streaks, give it one streak. All right, that's one streak. Go from medium to high, kind of make it a little less, less crazy. And there you have it. That's your render. And then go down here to image, save as image, and you're done. And that's it, that's how you do it. Um, I think it was pretty easy. If you liked the tutorial, Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all the links are in the description, and thanks for watching.